The Flash is a student form for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions, research, write, shoot, and broadcast news stories they deem important to the ECU community. Stay tuned. Hey ECU, I'm Tommy. And I'm Brayden. And welcome back to another installment of The Flash. Today we have three stories to you guys. First, a story on Izzy Merzik and how she got involved with the circus and what she's doing now because of COVID. Our next story is about some holiday gift ideas. And finally, Lucas takes a look at the live action version of Mulan and shares his thoughts. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, the, for flash. the Flash. First, we're going to take a look at how Junior Izzy Merzik got involved with the circus and what she's doing now. When Izzy was eight years old, she first considered joining the circus. The thing that inspired me to join circus is definitely the movie Madagascar 3. Um, that art form really resonated with me. After trying out different activities, Izzy finally found what she resonated with and turned her inspiration into involvement. Now, she's been a student at Circus Juventus for eight years. Right now, I'm in ladder trapeze, bungee trapeze, and triple trapeze. My favorite act that I participate in would probably be bungee trapeze. Um, we're connected to bungee cords, and we're way up high. It just feels so freeing and like you're flying. Besides from performing her favorite acts, the friendship she has made has kept Circus enjoyable. I joined Circus in middle school. I have known Izzy for the majority of that time. She's super fun and easy to work with and very accommodating and just hardworking and determined. Allie and Izzy have known each other for four years and this year are partners in the act Triple Trapeze with Izzy as flyer and Allie as bass. However, recent COVID restrictions have made practicing together harder. We had to stop working together for a couple months during COVID and we actually have like a six week break because the numbers got pretty high. Now stuck at home, Izzy has had to find ways to practice and keep up her strength. I have a static trapeze in my garage, so that's how I keep up my grip. Going forward, Izzy hopes to be able to practice in person again soon and erase the stereotypes surrounding circus. I feel like a lot of people think of circus as like clowns. That's not really all that it is. I want people to think of strength and um, like perseverance when they think of circus. Signing off from The Flash with Assistant Cooper, this is Maddie. That is really such a cool and unique story. With the holidays coming up, Zien took a look at some gift ideas. Here they are. The holidays are just around the corner. With that comes buying gifts. Here are 15 gift ideas for your shopping list this year. All right, so the first category is for females. So the first gift idea is candles. The second gift idea is books. The third is fuzzy socks. The fourth gift idea is coffee mugs or coffee carriers. And the fifth gift idea is at-home spa treatments. Okay, so the second category is for meals. So the first gift idea is video games. The second is Nike slash sports apparel. The third is a shoe cleaning kit. The fourth gift idea is a charging station. The fifth is a portable massager. Okay, so the third category is gifts for your parents and your aunts and uncles. So the first gift idea is a record player with some records. The second is a tea slash coffee set. The third is baking accessories if they like to bake. The fourth is the Philips wake up light alarm clock. The fifth is an essential oil diffuser. Hopefully these gift ideas save you a couple headaches on what to get your friends and family this holiday season. Signing off for The Flash, this is the end. Those are some really good ideas. I may use those in the future. You're right, I think I will too. Lucas took a look at the new live action of Mulan. Here he is with his thoughts. When you hear the name Mulan, you probably think of the 1998 movie by the same name. But recently, there was a remake made that has had a lot of people anxious due to the filming being halted due to the pandemic. Well, I am happy to say that thankfully they were able to finish the film and release it. When you hear the name Mulan, you probably think of the 1998 movie by the same name. But recently, there was a remake made that has had a lot of people anxious due to the filming being halted due to the pandemic. 
Well, I am happy to say that thankfully they were able to finish the film and release it. If you just can't wait like I did, it's already available for purchase physically. Now, let's be honest. Disney's recent track record with making their old animated properties into full-length live-action movies has been a bit of a rough patch. While picking this up at the store, I really didn't have high hopes for it, but I wanted to give it an open mind. So, without further ado, I give you my reaction to the 2020 Mulan. We then flash forward a couple years and see that there's an army attacking the Chinese kingdom. The main bad guy's name is Bori Khan, which, by the way, is another reason why I'm not a big fan of this movie. Eventually, Mulan's father is asked to fight in the war against Bori Khan. Mulan, worried about her father, takes his place to fight. We don't know what Chi's limitations are, so anything can be explained away by Chi, and I don't like that. Now, to the big elephant in the room. They got rid of Mushu and replaced him with a phoenix that doesn't talk. Mushu was a big driving point in the original. Without him, Mulan wouldn't have even made it to the military camp and was the voice of reason for her to keep going. He was also the comic relief, and without him, I really didn't laugh at any part of the movie. I mostly laughed at the jokes my friends and I made while watching it. The movie was okay, but I definitely think it had a lot more potential. I give this movie a 5 out of 10 stars. Again, if you want to give this movie a watch for yourself, head on over to Disney+. Plus. They'll be releasing it tomorrow. Signing off for The Flash, this is Lucas. Wow, that was interesting. I may have to watch that movie soon. Well, that's all we have for today, Eastview. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned for next week's show. Stay, stay tuned, tuned for, for the, the credits. What are you looking at, sweetie? Nothing. $500 for a PS5, Ricardo? What nonsense is that? For Christmas. Lee, go to your room. It's not even that bad. Go to your room. I hate you. Go to your room. Kids these days. I'll get him this for Christmas. Hi, this is Karen. Uh, I was just calling in to ask about what's the current situation on the out-of-stock PS5s? Well, actually, ma'am, we are sold out of the PS5s nationwide, and we won't be getting a shipment until next month. That is unbelievable. I, I can't take this. Can I speak to your manager? Uh, ma'am, I am the manager. No, what? Never mind. Guess I'll just have to make it myself. Ricardo? Yeah? Merry Christmas. I think I got you something you'll love. No way, no. It's okay, sweet. No way. Merry Christmas. I hope you love it. What's this? It's the PS5. It's what you wanted. Mom, this is a PS2. You ungrateful child. I Give want it to me. 